hi everybody welcome back Belinda here um, today I'm going to show you my previous pour which is dry and um, you can see that gold shimmering beautifully and all these beautiful beautiful colors that have come up in between I really really like that very much I'm just hoping you're going to be able to see the difference in the, the colours here with the purple and the aqua or teal. But anyway, I think that um, has dried beautifully, so of course it still needs to have a varnish. Oh, that looks better. Okay guys, on with the next one. Using a black base today because my white is all finished. I do have a teeny bit of white, but um, not enough for a base coat. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down my base. Probably enough. I'll just attach my microphone so you guys can hear me better. Um, Alright, let's go. So I'll just quickly cover the base. And then I might just do the sides off camera make sure I get good cover coverage here <laughs> it's me being amphidextrous today is so cold here in New Zealand it's um four degrees Celsius this morning which is pretty cold and it's looking pretty bleak because we have um, a lot of days we do have a lot of fog so it is looking bleak but it will um, usually when there's fog it turns into a beautiful summery day looking day but the maximum today is 19 degrees celsius so um still not not that warm considering our temperatures here in new zealand in summer are usually around 30 degrees celsius all right guys i'm going to just quickly do my edges and I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, I'm going to give this a torch. There's a lot of bubbles. going to just quickly get rid of something and see a little bit of kitty hair maybe now I should have painted first around the edges with the black because the black is um, it's uh, pretty unforgiving So this is a 12 by 24 inch canvas. That was my uh, PBA mask black, but I'm just reusing the tub because I need to recycle. Okay, now let's see. I'm only using two colors. 
So now the doodad. So I'm also reusing this. This is uh, my silver. It's metallic silver. Let's see. And because I'm only using two colors, I'm actually using quite a bit of, of silver and white. So guys, if you're interested in any of my artwork, you want to be uh, one of the owners of my artwork, please email me on withbade at gmail.com. So it's the same as the name on my channel, except there is no art on the end. It's just withbade at gmail.com. We will be able to um start the postal service probably pretty soon <laughs> when i say pretty soon maybe in i don't know i'm just i'm i'm, I'm assuming now two or three weeks maybe okay guys hopefully that's not too much paint and of course i dip my tub in there okay let's see if this works Okay, I think that is beautiful. Really, really turned out well. I just want to blow a bit that way, a little bit this way, just to open this up a bit. And maybe, probably a little bit this way. Let's see. This is beautiful. Much nicer. And I got that silver exactly where I wanted it. So I'm really happy with that. Yeah, guys I think that's really well balanced yeah, I'm gonna give this a little bit of a torch and because I still see some more bubbles and then I'll bring you in for a close-up Yeah, 
I think this is um, really beautiful. Alright guys, I'll bring you in for a close-up. Alright guys, this is it. Um, I really think this came out absolutely gorgeous. Loving this black and white. It's amazing how it doesn't, um, the white doesn't mix with the black and become grey. So you can see the silver on the edges of the petals. Which is exactly what I wanted. And excuse the studio light following me around. <laughs> There's not a lot of light coming in here. But look at that, isn't it beautiful? It's just so elegant. I absolutely love everything about it. I love the way this folds up like this. It's so nice. And all the beautiful cells. Okay, so... I'll show you from this angle now when I can get resin I think I might resin this one <clears throat> I've done quite a couple of um, resin art pieces in the past and um, I don't have any more resin at the moment so I'll get some and I think I'll resin this piece and then to go from this angle as well. So guys, if you anybody is interested in any of my artwork, um, look me an email on withbaid at gmail.com. And I uh, hope you're all keeping well. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.